Hello everyone, welcome back to math mode. Happy to see you here. Really interesting equation today. We have x to the x equal to x squared and we need to find our x from this equation. How can we do this? I want to show you a really good approach. How can we do this? First of all, we need to divide both sides by x squared. So let's do this. Let's divide both sides by x squared. If we divide both sides by x squared, right here on the left hand side, we have x to the power x all over x squared equal to x squared over x squared. So I hope you understand this step. But on the right hand side, we divide the same element, same denominator, same denominator, so we can easily cancel it and we will have equal to 1 as a result, because this is equal to 1. So what we will have right now, x to the power x over x squared equal to equal to 1. And right now it's really good to, to find a property right here, a really good property, because we have a situation like that, we have the same base and we have different powers, but we have a fraction bar, we, we divide this and we can easily write it as x to the power x minus 2 equal to 1. This is a rule, because if we have, for example, a to the power x, we divide it by a to the power y, we can write it as a to the power x minus y. If we have division, we can write it as subtraction as a, in the power. Why is this good for us? Because right here we can easily take log from both of the side, but take, for example, natural log. If we take natural log from both of the sides, so natural log x, and right here x minus 2 as a power, equal to natural log, natural log 1. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. If we take log from both of the side, right here this power jump in the beginning, so we will have x minus 2, and we have still natural log x natural log x equal to equal to zero because natural log one equal to zero and take a look closely we have a product of two elements so then this one equal to zero so x minus two equal to zero or natural log x equal to zero and if we find our our root right here we will have our answer because x minus two equal to zero so x first equal to two this is our easy case and on the right hand side, natural log x equal to 0, then x equal to equal to 1. So this is our two, two roots in this problem. Maybe you have another way how to solve it, another approach, how to find this, this root, but this is my approach I want to share with you. So thank you so much for your support, for your subscribing, for your for your likes, I really appreciate it. And it helps me a lot to make a new and interesting content every day. And I, as you can see, past half year I make content every day, every day new video, maybe someone is, is not good, some is good, and of course I thank you for your support, it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and have a great day.